Hello, this is Fireblast1337. Today I'm going to show you how to convert audio files to a form usable by Half-Life DJ. First, we're going to open Goldwave. Next, we're going to create a new file. First, you have to make sure that it is in mono format, and the sampling rate is 11, 11, I'm sorry, 11, 0, 2, 5, and as far as the initial file length, since we're just going to be copying and pasting for this tutorial, it's mostly just whatever. Alright, now that we have that, we also e need to open the file that we're going to be converting. Start off, for example, we'll use this one, Deep Blue. Now that we've got this all here, simple I'll start to copy and paste. Now that we have our file length where it needs to be, first off, let's make it so we can see all of it. Now we just need to trim the fat, as I put it, by getting rid of that initial five second length that we started off with. And now that we've got that, and we've got everything converted over here, we don't need this open right now. Next step is just see how it sounds right now. Based on what I'm seeing, we could have some problems with the bass. This will be a big problem with stuff such as techno and, and rock. It won't be as, as big a problem as, say, for, oh, I don't know, like just simple sound files of voice recordings. But in this case, we should probably take care of that bass. So we're going to open our equalizer. We'll reduce the bass. Fortunately, since something like this is very techno-based, that can hurt the quality of it overall, but if we want to be spamming this in end games such as Team Fortress 2 and Counter-Strike, we, we kind of need to do this. So, as you can see here, it's going to reduce the 60 and 150 by 12.0 uh, 12 uh, 12 and the 400 by 6.0. This is a good starting point. If you don't need to reduce this by much, you just up this a little up this a little, and up this by about half as much. You want to keep that to about half of what these two are. Well, for starter, we'll go with the basic norm. Now, we can preview it this way, and show what it would sound like with that already in place. Now, as you can see here, we've got this section already going, and we can see that it's getting around to the 70 range. We don't want it to get too much higher than here. So, based on this, this will probably be enough. I just need to give it time to process. Apologize for the delay. Now, as you can see, it's changed it greatly, which means that this one was heavily affected by bass. But looking on this, it looks like we should be fine. Then that part right there bothers me a little bit. 32. May have to work on that just a little bit. So we'll bring up equalizer again. And we'll bring down this just a smidgen more. Unfortunately, since it is a complex file, this will take a little while. Mm -hmm. Oh my, it seems that I uh, made a worse job of it. 
when we get in a situation like that, just undo. So based on this, this should actually probably be fine. And again, looking at it one more time, we may want to reduce that base overall just one more time. We'll bring it down by about half overall. That shouldn't affect the rest of it as much. And I'm liking the way that looks much more now. Oh, that is getting a little yellow, but it should be fine when we get into the game. Finally, of course, just save it as. Don't want to save it where we opened it from. Bring up your documents. half like DJ. And then audio. Let's save it here. We'll just keep it as the same name as the original song. And it must be a WAV file and PCM signed 16-bit. Oh, and you're welcome, Relax Fire. Simply save. And then the next step is to just make sure that it plays well in game. So close this, close this, and I'll get back to you in just a second.